guy. Guess who's finally medicated and ready to go? Me. Today I'm gonna show you how I dye my hair green. We're gonna go through number one, my hair background and a little hair timeline. Number two, how I bleached my hair. Number three, how I dye it green because it was kind of a process. And number four, how I take care of my hair. So first of all, before we start, dyeing your hair at home is pretty risky. To quote the great American poet, Gabby Hanna, manage, manage your expectations a little bit. You have to keep in mind that you're gonna spend a lot of time and money into this. So don't say, I didn't warn you. I'm not a hairdresser. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be something. If you burn off your hair, that's none of my business. It's a hairy video. Let's get into it. So first off, I have really thick, dark Asian hair. It's pretty coarse, so the way that I abuse my hair might not be sustainable for everybody, but this is about me and how I dye my hair. Um, so if you have similar hair, hopefully this will be helpful. I'm not sure if these pictures show it, but I have a lot of thick, dark hair. And I really miss it. I miss having black hair, honestly. Early 2020, I decided to give myself the Eat Girl Streaks, so I used the 40 Ball Manic Panic Bleaching Kit. I only bleached it once, and then I used T18 on it, but it was not light enough for me to slap T18 on it, so it just kind of looked like this. I just slapped this Wella blue dye on it, which was a big mistake. So eventually, I just let the blue fade into this like caramelly, brassy color. This was probably three months after I initially bleached. Using 40 Volume Developer isn't really worth it to me because it just seems to damage more than if I were to bleach it with 30 Ball. Like, I think 30 Ball is fine even if you have black hair. Then I discovered the holy grail of bleaches, and it's the Ion Bright White Cream Bleach. This stuff works wonders. I am horrible at mixing powder bleach, it gets all like lumpy and frumpy and grumpy no matter how much I mix it, but having it come in a cream formula and just mixing that is a lifesaver. So I bleached the streaks again using 30 volume developer and the bleach, and then I toned it using Willa T18. The streaks look a lot neater. I'm only telling you this because I think it was funny. I had an actual breakdown, and I don't mean to take that lightly. I literally went through a nervous breakdown, and I'm only showing you this because I think it's really funny. We can laugh at it now but I was gonna shave my whole entire head because I was like, fuck it. But with most things in life, I couldn't commit fully. So I only shaved this part. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. I looked like a far cry character for a few days, but at least I could cover it with my other hair. And then I gave myself curtain bangs and then I freaked out about it. So I did the rational thing and bleached my whole entire head, confirming stereotypes one bad dye job at a time. Again, like most things in life, I couldn't commit. So I only bleached one side of my head, but basically I bleached it twice in one night with 30 ball each time. It was getting late, so I applied coconut oil onto one side and then I just called it a night. Basically, I walked around with the streaks and then split dyed hair for a while, for like a month. Basically, I worked in sections, but over an extended amount of time. So I bleached the bottom right of my hair because it was hard for me to do it in just one go. I used a scale to measure everything. The scales are literally life-changing. You do not have to clean up as much and like you can really get an accurate amount. And then I hit it with a blow dryer while the bleach was sitting on my hair. But now I don't use heat while I'm bleaching it. But for the first few rounds, I think it was really helpful in opening the cuticle or something like that. I don't know, but that's what I did. Then I bleached the top right of my hair using the same method and as you can see it turned this orangey color. Then I repeated this process one more time, bleached the right side of my head twice, and I shampooed it off, I didn't condition, and then I mixed T18 with 10 volume and then I toned my hair. After bleaching I used Olaplex number no. 3, after that I used Amika's The Cure hair mask. I didn't buy it just because of the name, no but I heard it is really good. It, it worked for me, I like Amika a lot. I don't use Olaplex number no. 3 that often anymore because I find that it kind of breaks me out. I think Olaplex number no. 3 helped my hair from snapping off. So it still had yellow tones and some spots were overtoned while others were like undertoned. So because of this I used Lunar Tides Lunar White. I think that's what it's called. It's basically like diluted purple dye essentially. And it helped it tremendously because I didn't want to use T18 on it again. I used purple shampoo for a while, but I found that the one that I was using kind of overtoned it. Maybe I was using it too soon or something. I heard that that can happen. So I did that for a while, but then I stopped using it. So naturally, the sane and rational thing to do would be just to fucking slap purple dye on it. And that's what I did. I slapped diluted iris purple and petal pink dye on it. And honestly, I kind of liked it. I kind of miss it. Then I decided, fuck it. 
it. I'm all in. And I slapped Iris purple onto my hair. And I mean slapped. I don't think I used a tip brush at all and it honestly shows. So I had purple hair for a while and then I got bored of it. So then I used Lunar Tide's Amethyst Pink. This was over like a two week span. So I used a clarifying shampoo for four days in a row. And then I just dyed Amethyst Pink, you know, confirming another stereotype. I got bored of it again. So I put on so then I put on Lunar Tide's Moonstone, but the amethyst pink didn't fade completely. I hated it. I had Jair for a while. Jair. It was my Jair era. My Jera. I probably only had this for like two days tops. So I finally got frustrated and then I gave myself a bleach bath, which if you don't know, it's two parts clarifying shampoo which is what I used, and one part bleach mixture. I wish I had pictures, but it just turned this like sea green, like really, really soft, almost white, but like with a tinge of like green. Then, okay, I don't know why I did this. I forgot which side it was on, but I put one side of Lunar Tide's Beetle Green and then one side of, what is it called? Juniper. I put on one side, they're basically the same color except one side's greener. I don't like pastel hair colors on me actually. I feel like it kind of weirdly washes me out. So I waited a few weeks for it to fade. And in the meantime, I reread Snot Girl, the series illustrated by Leslie Hung and Brian Lee O'Malley. And I was like, wow, she is literally me. I am a Snot Girl Kinney unfortunately. I basically wanted to recreate Snot Girl's hair as accurately as I could. Panic Panic's Electric Lizard. It looked cool and it glowed under black light, but I found it was too yellow for me, but did match Snot Girl, I think. I think it's the closest dyed Snot Girl, but it just didn't look good on me, I don't think. I didn't like the color that it faded into. It, it sort of fades into like this yellowy chartreuse color, which I wasn't a fan of, but I did like the yellow undertones. Like from that, I learned that I wanted to keep the yellow tones in my hair. So then I did some research and I was like, what is a true green? So I picked up Eero Eero. Is that how you pronounce it? Green 110 and I mixed it in with Electric Lizard. I still really liked it it, but it felt off. And then I tried Goodai Young's Cowabunga, and I didn't really like it that much. I think if my hair was more yellow toned, it would have been perfect, but since it wasn't, it turned my hair a little bit blue. So then I kept looking, and then I found the perfect hair dye, and that is Adore's Electric Lime. I love this hair color. It's, it's on my hair right now. In my opinion, it's like the perfect green to me. I think they sell it in European countries, but you can find it at like a random beauty supply store instead of like a Sally's. Sally's doesn't carry it. Sometimes if I'm feeling down for it, I'll mix it with my leftover Manic Panic or my Good Day Young Cowabunga, but right now all it is is electric lime in my hair. How I take care of my hair is Olaplex number three. After I bleach it, I'll just leave it on maybe like once a month, honestly. Amika hair masks. I like the Cure. And then there's the damage repair one, the orange one. I like that one too. I'll towel dry my hair leave it to be damp, and then I will add Olaplex number six. And I really like Olaplex number six because it kind of like smooths everything out. And so I'll put that on like almost dry but damp hair, and then I will just blow dry it. Godspeed.